All right, here we go, folks. You know why we're here. We've been waiting to hear something about the brand new DC Slate James Gunn or someone is about to make a massive announcement at 12 o'clock. Yes, I am upset to see some faces that I love go like a Henry Cavill, like a Ben Affleck. I thought he was great as Batman, but we're going to have to see what direction they're going to take it. If I don't like it, I'll tell you. If I love it, I'll let you know. And before we get into this, you guys know this. Leave your thoughts and comments down below. Whatever you feel, as long as it's respectful, please let me know. And if you want to support this video, support this channel, be sure to drop that like. And uh, if you do, maybe we'll talk more about these projects. Maybe we'll rank them according to my excitement. Don't know how many we're getting. I hope we get more than five. That's a good number. Hello, James. Hey, everybody. I'm James. Hi, James. Hello, James. To come in and make sure the DCU is connected film, television, gaming, and animation. I'm very and nervous. The characters are consistent, played by the same actors, and it works within one story. And if something is Except for Robert Pattinson. That, like Matt Reeves' Batman. There you go. Or Todd Phillips' Joker. Or <laughs> wow. Now, Peter and I have gotten pretty lucky in terms of the four projects that are coming out over the next year. First, we have Shazam! Fury of the Gods. Shazam! has always been off kind of in his own part of the DCU, so he connects very well. That moves directly into The Flash, a fantastic movie that I really love that resets the entire DC universe. And then to move into Blue, Ooh. a fantastic film about a kid who's a marvelous part of the DCU, and then into Aquaman Blue Beetle, two, which leads directly part of the DCU. Okay. Aquaman 2. Let me pause that. He said a few important things here. The Flash resets the entire DC universe. It makes sense. I think Flashpoint is that story. Was that the plan originally? No, but it looks like they're moving in that direction. Then he said Aquaman 2 moves into the next few projects. So are the rumors true? Is Jason Momoa going to somehow turn into Lobo due to Flashpoint? I don't know how they're going to connect these. But he also said Blue Beetle is part of the DCU. That's a big deal to me. I'm very excited for that movie. Let's continue. <laughs> Gods and monsters. Okay. The first project is Creature Commandos. Creature Commandos okay. is an animated series. Animated. I've written all the episodes. Hey! It's, something we're gonna do that's a little bit it's a weasel. DC is we're going to have characters move into animation, out of animation. Cool. Usually having the same actor play their voice. Oh, I love that. Them in live action. The next project love that. is Waller. This is a story of Amanda Waller played by Viola Davis. Whoa. Viola Davis is going to team up with members of Team Peacemaker. Whoa. And this is a story that's been created by Crystal Henry, who did Waller. Watchmen, and Jeremy Carver, who created the Doom Patrol. It is a fantastic story oh. that's out of this world, and I can't wait for people. Doom Patrol and Watchmen okay. creators. Next that's up great. Is the big one, the true beginning of the DCU. This is called Superman <laughs> Legacy. It's being written by me. I'm in the middle of it. I'm having a great Look time at that. doing it. And Superman will be released into theaters July 11th, 2025. 2020. Okay, the next thing is a big premiere HBO. It's only two years. Called Lanterns. Oh! The story of a couple of Green Lanterns. Oh! John Stewart, How Jordan, John Stewart. And we have a few other Lanterns peppered in there. But this is really Whoa. a TV show, which is almost like True Detective with a couple of Green Lanterns who are space cops. True Detective and Green... That's great. They discover a terrifying mystery that ties into our larger story of the DC. Oh, that my goodness. It's called The Authority. The Authority Whoa. is a project of mine. It's the based on the marvelous Wildstorm characters. Whoa. We're bringing into the DCU and will interact <laughs> with all of our primary DCU characters. Unbelievable. The Authority are a group of superheroes who think the world is broken and they want to... Yeah. Oh, that's a weird pool, but I love it. At superheroes, we're doing a television series called Paradise Lost. Paradise Lost is, is this the Paradise Island. Wonder Woman. Known as Themyscira, which is the birthplace of Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. It's like Game of Thrones with Westeros, but with whoa. All the of Paradise Same cast. Of the no, different cast. Different cast. The brave and the bold. Whoa. The brave and the bold is the story of Batman and his actual son, Damian Wayne. Damian Wayne. Unbelievable. Yes. Wayne is my favorite Robin. Okay. He's a little assassin who Batman tries to get in line. And so wow. The story of the two of them and the beginning of sort of the Bat family in the DCU. So we're probably going to get Dick Grayson too. Series called Booster Gold. Yes. Gold one of the comics really popular yes. called Heroes. He is a fascinating guy. I love Booster Gold. Who uses 
uses future technology to, to come, come back. back yeah. Become a superhero. Oh, that's great. So will love him. It is basically the superhero story. Oh, this is a lot. Syndrome on an HBO Max series. One of my favorite comic book series from last year was Tom King's run on Supergirl. Yeah. Tomorrow. Oh, we're getting a Supergirl. So we're going to turn that into a big science fiction epic film. Wow. Now, wow. Man is a guy who was sent to Earth and raised by loving parents. Yes. Supergirl in this story. She is a character who was raised on a chunk of Krypton. She oh my goodness. Everybody around her perish in some terrible way. So she's a much more jaded character. And that brings me to Swamp. The last thing we're going to talk about Ooh. is very dark horror story the origins of the They're doing a Swamp movie. Thing movie. And although <laughs> Okay, okay. Anyway, those are the stories that I can tell you about right now. I've loved the DC characters since I was a child. Oh my goodness. They're incredibly important to me. I knew that this was Wow. That's so I didn't expect that much. I thought maybe five projects, but I didn't know and the mixture of animated into live action back and forth. Yes, they're doing that a little bit in the MCU, but it seems like that's going to be one of the focal points with it. We got a new Batman movie. The Brave and the Bold. That's the first one I want to talk about. And they're starting with Damian Wayne, which tells me there's most likely already a Dick Grayson in this universe. Maybe Batman's already went through Jason Todd. Maybe they pushed that uh, later on. But this is essentially Batman and Robin, something I've always wanted to see on the big screen. Now, the Damian Wayne storyline, it all comes down to how they handle it. We've seen it mishandled, and but we've also seen it to where it's been handled really well. So my question is, what age range are we looking at for Batman? Obviously, Damian Wayne is going to be a younger actor. What's that dynamic going to be like, father and son? I think that's a great thing to bring to screen. It's going to make Batman a very different character than what we've seen before, because there's Bruce Wayne before he was a father, and then there's Bruce Wayne after He's a father, and that's a very different, that's a major change in that type of character, right? So that's great. I also can't wait to see who the director is for that movie. But let's talk about some of these other projects as well. Obviously, Superman Legacy, that was going to be the big one. Only two years away. That's a pretty big deal. They're moving quicker on these movies than I thought they would. I thought maybe 2026, 2027, but 2025, that's coming sooner rather than later. And again, like I mentioned before, you know, Aquaman leads into this. How does that happen? Does he eventually play into this? The Flash sounds like a really good movie. That's the reboot. That's the way they're going to reboot this DC universe. That's awesome, right? Because they're also incorporating Ben Affleck and Michael Keaton. So what has come before, what will come after will be vastly different than what we've seen. But they're also announcing all of these television projects. So let's go down the list here. Booster Gold, that's a character that I've always wanted to see, maybe on the small screen rather than the big screen, but eventually make his way to the big screen. He could be a part of that Justice League. You know, we had Justice League Unlimited where we had these more minor characters. Uh, I think he's a great character. Again, with a lot of these, it comes down to casting. Swamp Thing doesn't matter as much casting as it does the tone, the atmosphere, but loosely connecting to the DC Universe, yet giving us a very different type of genre in that world is great. The Authority, man, this is really cool because it's not just going to be Justice League, Justice League members, the five or six characters that we know. This is a world. This is a huge world that we're exploring with hundreds and hundreds of heroes and villains. And so to introduce the authority and all these brand new characters, kind of like they did with Guardians of the Galaxy in the MCU, that's going to be a big deal if they nail it. Green Lantern, I think TV show is a great route to go. I love the true detective comparison, but you also have the two Green Lanterns that I wanted to see, right? You want Hal Jordan back. You want them another uh, crack at that character. We're not going to talk about the Ryan Reynolds thing, but... For me, Jon Stewart, the guy that I grew up with in the Justice League animated series, and they've already mentioned that they're going to incorporate that feeling in these movies. I think that is absolutely fantastic. The Amanda Waller show tells me, or movie tells me, that Amanda Waller and those characters and Peacemaker and everyone that we know from that side of the universe, they are going to be incorporated. So that's really good because they're also bringing in some of the cast members there. Superman Legacy, we mentioned Creature Commandos. Did I see Weasel? So we're going to see some of these characters that we knew uh, or have known from maybe the Suicide Squad. But Creature Commandos could be a really fun show to do in the animated space. And again, 
we're, we're staying heavy, strong with Superman and Superman the lore uh, there with Supergirl, Woman of Tomorrow. And I think that is, first of all, a really cool name because you have Superman, Man of Tomorrow, but I love the Superman legacy title, so you have to go with that. Supergirl could be really cool because, again, he said she's a jaded character. She's someone who has been through so much more than Superman when it came to her childhood growing up. I absolutely love that call because the Krypton space, the Superman characters, those characters could be the face of this new DC universe. It all comes down to casting for Superman, what the tone of that is. From that picture, looked very uplifting, wonderful, what we know from Christopher Reeve and that Superman. And the movies, they, they look great, but I'm more curious about the incorporation. Like, how do you go from The Flash to what we're going to know in those other movies? How do you reboot this universe? And does Aquaman 2 take place at the same time as The Flash? I like what I'm seeing. I like what I'm seeing. I'm still curious, you know, casting, directors, that matters. That's a big deal. But he talked about how voices are going to be important and how each movie is, have, is going to have its own creative touch to it. It's all going to feel different, and I could talk for days. I could go on for hours. This is making me feel really good as a DC fan. I hope these movies feel, you know, they're not all going to be great, but if we can get a pretty good batting average here, if we can get 70% of these movies and TV shows really good or better, we're in for something crazy. I will say, though, what are my thoughts on the characters that could return returning? Like I said, Jason Momoa, is he going to be Aquaman? Is Aquaman legitimately going to lead into the new universe? Ezra Miller, I, at this point, after everything that's went down, I don't know why you would bring back Ezra Miller. I am not one that wants to bring back Ezra Miller. If they do, I will question that. I will question that decision-making. It's like, why do you not bring back Henry? And I get why you don't bring back Henry, but uh, Ezra Miller, just at this point, recast. You, you kind of have to recast. I don't know why they would even consider that. Uh, Gal, I think there's a shot that Gal comes back, and I think there's a shot that a few of these other characters come back as well. So uh, it's not all going to be fresh and new, but maybe some of it will be. Well, most of it. You guys know, I could talk for days. Thank you for joining me. If you would like for me to rank these, you know, count them down, least anticipated to most anticipated, please let me know. Uh, hit that notification bell, drop that thumbs up, all of those things. And if you want that, I'll bring that to you maybe later today or tomorrow. You guys the best. I'll be seeing you soon.